to set or reset particular port bit so first how to set a particular port bit so for example suppose we want to set a bit p1.0 that means we want to write logic 1 at port bit p1.0 without affecting other port bits of port 1 so for example suppose on port 1 this is a data then after performing some operation we want to set this d0 bit all other bit should be as it is Means we don't want to change status of other bits of this port so to perform this type of operations we have to or perform or operation on data 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 and we want to set this bit so we'll or this bit to 1 so if we perform our operation on this data with this value that is 0 x 0 1 then result will be like this so the instruction we have to use to set this particular bit is suppose p1 out register we want to initialize then p1 out should be equal to p1 out that is the data of port 1 or with this data 0x01 so that means whatever data is available on p in p1 out register that we are going to or with 0x01 because we want to set this bit and result will be stored in p1 out register or in short we can write p1 out or equal to 0x01 that is c language so semicolon that means it this instruction will perform this type of operation now suppose we want to set this bit then here we have to add with the data 1 here and 0 for all other bits so we'll or this data with 0 x 2 0 so only we are affecting this particular bit all other bits will remain as it is same we can use for dir register also suppose we want to set the direction of p1.0 as a output port so we can write this instruction like this p1 dir or is equal to 0x01 that means we are set direction of p1.0 as a output port bit all other bits direction remains as it is To reset particular bit we have to perform AND operation for example suppose we want to write logic 0 at p1.0 and we want to don't want to change the status of other bits so we have to perform operation like p1 out AND it with complement of 0x01 this bit we want to uh, send logic 0 for this particular bit so we have to first find the complement of this data and then end it with the data stored in p1 out register result should be stored in p1 out register or in short we can write p1 out and is equal to complement of this data 0 1 0 x 0 1 so what will happen here suppose we want to reset this bit d0 so what result we want this bit should be 0 and all other bits should remain as it is so this bit we want to uh, reset so for this we will store 1 and for other bits we will use 0 we will take complement of this data so complement of this data will be 0 and all other bits will be 1 1 1 
and we will perform a AND operation. So what will happen with AND operation, these bits will remain as it is, but this bit, D0 bit, which we want to reset, will be always 0 now. So we are resetting D0 bit without affecting other bit. So for that we can write instruction like this or in short we can write instruction like this. So using these two instructions we can set or reset any particular bit in MSP 430.